Hi, I'm Anita Perez, also known as Luminaria Star, and this is a Metaphysician's Journal. Today is January 15, 2015, and a lot of very interesting things happened on this day in history. In 1535, Henry VIII declared himself head of the church in England. And on 1759, the British Museum opened in Montague House in London. In 1895, Tchaikovsky's ballet Swan Lake premiered in St. Petersburg. In 1951, the Supreme Court ruled clear and present danger of incitement to riot is not protected speech and could be a cause for arrest. In 1961, the Supremes signed with Motown Records, and in 1971, the Aswan Dam officially opened in Egypt. In 1973, on this day, three things of great note uh, are going to be covered here. Uh, four Watergate burglars pled guilty in federal court. To Paul VI held an audience with Golda Meir at the Vatican, and President Nixon suspended all U.S. offensive action in North Vietnam. And in 2001, Wikipedia, a free wiki content encyclopedia, went online for the first time. And I owe them a great deal for the content in this program. In 2005, ESA's Smart One Lunar Orbiter discovered elements such as calcium, aluminum, silicon, iron, and other valuable surface elements on the moon. And also, an intense solar flare blasted x-rays across the solar system. And in 2011, on this day, Kenneth Grant, who was an English ceremonial musician, uh, magician, and prominent advocate of the Thelemite religion, died. He was a poet, a novelist, and a writer, and with his wife, Steffi Grant, he founded his own Thelemite organization, the Typhon Typhonian Ordo Templi Orientis, later renamed the Typhonian Order. Now, everybody knows that Martin Luther King was born on January 15th. Some folks even remember that he was born in 1929. We remember him as an American pastor, an activist, a humanitarian, a leader in the African-American civil rights movement, and a Nobel Peace Prize winner. He was best known for his role in the advancement of civil rights using Nonviolent civil disobedience based on his beliefs. His iconic I Have a Dream speech stands for the freedom that we all aspire to have in our lives. He was assassinated on April 4, 1968, at age 39, for having the courage to stand up and say out loud what was hidden in so many hearts. May he never be forgotten. And here are a few of the remarkable folks who shared this birthday. Jean-Baptiste Hoquelien, known by his stage name Molière, lived from 1622 to 1673. He was a French playwright and actor who was considered to be one of the greatest masters of comedy and satire in Western literature. Among Moliere's best-known works are The Misanthrope, The School for Wives, Tartuffe, The Miser, The Imaginary Invalid, and The Bourgeois Gentleman. Richard Martin was born on the 15th of January, 1754. He was an Irish politician and a very early campaigner against cruelty to animals. He was commonly known as Humanity Dick the nickname bestowed on him by King George IV. 
he succeeded in getting the Pioneering Cruel Treatment of a Cattle Act in 1822, which was named, nicknamed Martin's Act and was passed into British law. Captain Beefheart was born on this day in 1941 in California. Born Don Glett Viet on January 15, 1941, he was an American musician, singer, songwriter, and artist, best known by the stage name Captain Beefheart. His musical work was conducted with a rotating ensemble of musicians called the Magic Band from 1965 through 1982, with whom he recorded 13 studio albums. He was noted for his powerful singing voice with its wide range. He also played the harmonica, saxophone, and numerous other wind instruments. His music blended rock, blues, and psychedelia with avant-garde and contemporary experimental composition. He was also known for exercising an almost dictatorial control over his supporting musicians and for often constructing myths about his life. He died too early on December 17th in 2010. A few other noteworthy people born on this day are Andrea Martin, comedian and actress, in 1947, Charo, the singer and actress, the Coochie Coochie Woman, born in Spain in 1951, and Emily Watson, the British actress, born in 1967. And that concludes this entry of a Metaphysician's Journal. I bid you peace.